How's it going everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be introducing another Formula One livery as a GT3 car. On today's agenda is the VF21 Ferrari's livery for the 2021 season. Let's check it out. I'm Wheaton, and if this is your first time here on the channel and you want to stay up to date on all kinds of awesome F1 content from an American viewpoint, start by hitting the subscribe button down below. But with all that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. To start off, let's examine the livery. Of course, it has the lime green mission window at the top and then the darker maroon, similar to the 1000 Grand Prix livery they had in 2020. Other than that, it's pretty much a standard Ferrari livery. It's basically just a bunch of logos slapped onto a red car. So to start, let's jump straight into the Assetto Corsa Content Manager and let's look at the Ferrari 488 GT3 car. We can start off by throwing a nice Ferrari red all over the car. From there, we can then start throwing on different sponsors. Now the goal here is to pretty much follow exactly what the VF21 livery is. That means we want the sponsors, logos, and the colors to all pretty much match on our GT3 car where they are on the actual F1 car. So we're going to be having the Ray-Bans be the divider between the dark and the light reds. Other than that, we're going to pretty much cover the same things. The only thing I have the Richard Mill and some of the others slightly in different positions just because of the curvature of the car compared to an F1 car. Other than that, the goal is to stay completely similar. So here we are with the final design. I had a little trouble figuring out where I wanted to put the lime green mission window. I originally had it further back on the car, but that was then in the darker maroon area. So I ended up splitting it half and half, having one half on the door panel and the other half on the roof panel. I think it gives it a nice look and honestly it actually doesn't look that bad. Other than that it pretty much looks spot on. I didn't keep the same number font that's because similar to the, what I did with the Alpine car I wanted a GT3 style number box on the side of the car so we ended up doing that but other than that change I pretty much have all those things exactly where they should be and I think it looks really good actually. But there you have it guys I want to keep this video nice and short. This is my take on the VF21 as a GT3 car. If you guys liked the video, let me know who I should do next in the comments down below. Have a great day, and as always, thanks for hanging out with me.